Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my reply series, and today we're going to be talking about games of the future or games of the past. All right, guys, so this is a reply for uh, was it easy going gaming? Um, Retro Rivals actually brought this attention, this to my attention, um, about a choice of uh, gaming in the past or gaming in the future. And um, <clears throat> like like everyone else, it's like okay, uh, it's not that easy of a of of an answer. Um, and it almost feels like I have to explain myself or at least qualify my answers to myself. So, <clears throat> I love the past. I have nostalgia, but I also love what I see coming in the future. So, um, you know, I, I think about this as uh, right now, if I had to sell all of my collection, just get rid of it and never never have it, never play it again. I don't know if I could do that. And then I could only buy, you know, games that are made from today forward. Uh, including things, you know, that uh, systems that are currently out and that I don't own. Uh, so it would basically be like Xbox One, PlayStation 5, and the switch and and that would be about it that that's all that's what i would be limited to <clears throat> and that's endless possibility that's that's what it is is that it is limitless possibility we can either have as many or as few major hit games as possible and that's a gamble and i don't want to be that negative about things um as i have a, a i'm it's fairly easy to become negative and i'm trying to stay out of that habit but i don't know if i trust the gaming um the gaming publishers and the and the big companies like ea and activision and blizzard and all of these other huge companies to um to not be so greedy um and I know that's that's like kind of a disheartening thing to hear, but uh, they they chase the dollar more than they chase the dream, um, and that makes me a little sad. And that makes me want to go with games in the past. And hopefully, you guys like see this too, where it's like all of the microtransactions and and all of the the over monetization and um the the annual releases where all of your microtransactions got reset and just things like that is is really really kind of hard on me it doesn't it doesn't feel like it speaks to the uh, uh to the hobby and to the community as much as it should um you know back when Nintendo was making the NES and stuff, the goal wasn't money. The goal was making a good game. And money was just kind of a side effect of a good game. Um, and so, like, I know that I'm, I'm, you know, waffling back and forth to borrow a, uh, a term from over the pond, but uh, as much as I would hate to miss out on things in the future, I can't trust the large companies to to do right. Uh, I can't trust them to not let greed take over. So I'm choosing the past. And again, it's still not an easy decision because, you know, thankfully I would count it from today so I could still have my PlayStation 4 Pro plus all of the games for my PlayStation 4 Pro back. Um, if I, you know, so that's, that's how I'm framing it is if I had to, if I choose the past, I have to stop buying games right now, can never buy another game ever. Um, and 
doing that compared to only being able to buy uh, new things that are in retail stores right you know from this day forward uh, you know thankfully including systems uh, in my rules including systems like the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation I mean sorry <laughs> and the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One maybe we could cut out the PlayStation 4 because it would technically not be current generation but yeah it's it's still a hard decision but I would have to choose the past because um, I felt more valued as a gamer and more valued by these larger companies as a customer instead of um, a cash cow to be milked. Um, and I really hope that some executive somewhere, I know it'll never happen, but some executive somewhere looks at that and realizes that they're trading short-term gains uh, for the longevity of the company and the longevity of their customers. Um, you know, $10 now or $50 over time, the choice is yours. So, uh, yeah, I, I have to choose the past. It was not an easy decision, I believe. Uh, there was more competition in the past and that led to better games in the past so um, that's it guys that is that is my answer uh, with a heavy heart I say uh, games of the past well that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs I'm your host Mondane and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.